Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 72, July 7th. Those of you in America, hope you had a good time blowing stuff up last weekend. Um, those that weren't, well, maybe it made for good TV or something. I don't know. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to make it here with us right now. We have a pretty simple agenda for today. Triage, like we've been doing, um, mostly around the thoughts of what are we going to do or when are we going to be done with Wix 3.10? We think we know, but we always want to keep that in check. And then we'll take any questions, comments, things that didn't get added to the agenda before we get here. Sound good, Bob? Sounds great. All right. There is some enthusiasm. Off to the web to do triage. Yay, triage. So down at the bottom, it looks like we had a very, 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 very old bug. I don't know, reactivated? Yep. Yep. Open to untriage. Oh, it was open. Should have that, so it should do that, so they should do that. Well, this was open before, right? Everyone agrees. Cool. Let's open it again. Done. All we need is someone to actually do the work. That seems to be the thing. All right. Anyway. Runtime error if Wix standard V8 will be replaced by a custom Wix standard V8. Uh, ooh, you can do that? No, I'm surprised this works. Yeah, if you if you use the uh, the Wix standard bootstrapper application element, it's always going to pull in the original Wix standard BA. Oh, and then they're using a payload source file to stomp on it. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to stomp though. Oh, it does. Interesting. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that works. Uh, this isn't supposed to work. Like honestly, there should be an error. I, I would well, right, and we have an open issue about the whole stomping problem. Stomping shouldn't work. That's what I'm saying. This should not work correctly. Like the fact that this works is a mistake. <laughs> I would argue. All right, so let's turn this into a bug. Uh, right. So I guess we can keep. That's the bug. Well, I agree with Sean's comment in the bug, which is uh, you have to rebuild. I think that's the problem. Right. Well, that's that's yeah. I I don't think we should allow this. That's my Sorry, opinion. that's a separate issue. Well, uh, I'm saying the, that this the, bug. All right. No, sure. the the pro the problem is if it stomps, and Jacob says it does, then the problem is that they have to rebuild their DLL. Maybe my point is that the problem is that we allow stomping to happen. I understand. I agree, and we already have an issue on that. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, oh, very good. Um, how about we resolve this as this should not work. You'll want to find a different way of doing this. An interesting resolution type. Well, it like even if Sean's suggestion works, which it probably will if that was their issue, I don't want this guy or lady, whoever, to be assuming that this is actually a thing they should be doing. We should tell them as soon as we notice, go, oh, wait, 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 yeah, but don't do that. Well, Jacob, when you say overridden, you just mean stomped on, right? Yeah. You're, an, you're, 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 you're getting lucky in the order is essentially what's happening. Yeah, well, that's the other problem is, you know, the BA has to be the first payload in the UX container. So that's why I'm like, wow, that really works. But I'm, it's fraught with peril, so we definitely shouldn't allow it. Right. So that's my point. Like, let's resolve yeah. this bug. Is probably what Sean said. And by the way, this isn't supposed to work. That's all I'm saying. Yep. No, I agree. Okay. Three ten. Custom BA prereq not showing buttons in .NET after .NET was uninstalled. Oh, does the prereq BA not support maintenance mode? <laughs> Is that maintenance mode that's showing up? Okay. Or, well, it's essentially maintenance mode for, oh, it's maintenance mode for the bundle, isn't it? Uh-huh. And then MBA prec is getting, ooh. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? It is. And I'm assuming the blocks of white are someone editing out a product name? I hope so. Okay. That or they put a whole bunch of spaces in there. Um, Let's hope not. It's their UI. Um, all right. 
Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> it's been this way for a long time, though. I would vote that we not hold 310 for it. No, I agree. Okay, but we should fix this. It's kind of bad. Sean said he'll take a look at it. Cool. So that solves the problem. 311. I expect it's going to be fairly straightforward in the end. Very likely. I, yeah, me too, Sean. I'm kind of surprised. Well, who it's removes that, who removes that net? I mean, it's. I guess that's really what it kind of comes down to. Yeah. Config lib settings engine. I vote we give this to Mike. Yes, and as he points out, it's something that changed between RC and RTM in the yeah, well, compiler. SW scanf also is kind of a scanning thing. Is a it's not your my favorite app. So, uh, but I vote we give it to Mike and not try to diagnose it because he's going to know that code well. Works for me. IS web app pool not modularized. Hmm. Wait, is the name? Name. Oh, so it's not getting the GUID on it correctly. Oh, when you have a property. Yeah. Should we take it 310? Yeah. I mean, okay. So, cool. Uh, 311? Are you volunteering to fix it in 311? Yeah, I'll take it 311. It's an easy fix. All right. It's an easy fix. This is going to be the same. Uh, sorry, I wasn't hey. commenting on the complexity. I was commenting on that we shouldn't open bugs in a release unless someone's volunteering to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So 3.11, this is going to be the same thing. That was my assumption. Your property name. Yeah, I'm, it's probably the same thing. So uh, this is either going to be closed as that's not formatted, which it probably is, or, uh, yeah, we just need to be oh, realized. Yeah. V3.9.12.08 fails to install. Um, cool. How about you send this to uh, Wix users, and then we'll open a bug if there's actually a bug that isn't environmental. So, help request off to Wix users. Works for me. And if it's not environmental, then we will need to take a fix. Invalid description of error when trying to heat a sim link <laughs> to a folder that does not exist. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> there are so many things in this that I don't care about. That's impressive. But yeah, it's, just <laughs> it's a sim link Wait. to a folder that doesn't exist in heat error message. So not caring. Mul but multiplicative yes. not caring. I don't even know. Interesting. Why. It's like, what happens when you divide by zero? No cookie for cookie monster. Tell me something. Anyone else think it's a really challenging bug that's worth looking at and fixing? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, all right. Yay. So it should go into the suspended bucket. I agree. Woohoo. So what do we get out of this? No 310 bugs. <clears throat> uh, three And a couple 311 bugs, two of which are easy, one of which is hopefully easy. That custom behaves like, oh, really? Um... And a bug about being able to replace with standard BA, which you should not be able to do. And the rest are all please open yeah, features that we already exist. All right, cool. Awesome. So no movement on 310. I think we're still, let's see, it's still end of July, basically end of July for Visual Studio. So we're still looking at end of August for... Um, I don't know that we need to take that long. Visual Studio is supposed to ship in two weeks. I don't know that we need, uh, you know, a full six weeks of of uh, big time or rest time, whatever you want to call it, after that. Um, that said, the bug that Heath opened about build failures, that's interesting. You know, it, it might mean that we have a little bit of work to do uh, after 
the 20th. Also, you know, remembering that probably this is something I'll have to squeeze into my multiple day jobs, so. Um, yes. So, so you're saying maybe mid-August instead of end of August. Maybe. Okay. Um, I think part of it is, yeah, you know, we'll have to kind of wait and see, but yeah, I like to I like to look at mid-August, and if we slip for some, you know, legitimate reason, or I suppose even illegitimate ones, <laughs> that's okay. But yeah, I don't I don't see us going past the end of August. All right. Unless we wanted to wait, you know, for Labor Day, which is past the, the end of August. <laughs> I was expecting you to have the day. Um, it just came to me that that's the closest one. It's Monday, September 7th. Yeah. It's not that we have to slip that long, but... That seems like a long time just to hit a holiday. Yeah. It's, uh, well, you know, not the only time that we might have done something to hit a theme. All right. Keith White, August seventh. That's that's soon. Now there was a holiday we could have hit. Where was that? July fourth. Well, no, I think we missed. No, yeah, no, Heath, we're not doing a Heath birthday release of Wix. I'm sorry. Well, we would, except I think it's a little aggressive. <laughs> August seventh would be. Well, that's fine. Yes, fine. Keith, move, move your move your birthday to you know I don't know August fifteenth. There you go. Done. <laughs> All right. Although if if we hit August tenth, then we could release on National S'mores Day. So. Oh, there we go. I make my wife very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. We're wandering around. We're not going to cover any new ground here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to bring up this Wix 3.10 release other than to say, hey, look, we took no bugs, so no changes. Go back last time. So other things, questions, comments, other things that people want to talk about today, given that we still have you know, 15 minutes in the meeting, but we don't have to use it all up. We have had the odd five-minute meeting, or what was it, six-minute meeting that one time? Six minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we could call it, and then I could... Um, finish my lunch. So, uh, there are a few older PRs against Wix 4. I'd like to base some work on a couple. Well, then we should bring up, as far as I know, most of the Wix 4 ones have comments on them of things that are or are not going on. So um, I went through all the old ones, and I think I have outstanding stuff to all the people that, or the people know where they stand. Sean and I went through a number of them last week over his and how we're going to reapproach a couple of them, things like that. So if you have explicit questions on a PR, then let's put it on the PR and we can move that PR forward. But I've, yes, there are a few outstanding ones, but they all need work, I think. Uh, well, the, the cache one, so let's be clear, the, the cache thing we talked about in the mailing list a couple times about, we don't want to add another command line switch because it's not that full-blown thing that everybody should support. It's a matter of treating the cache like an action and building it on top of that. Okay, so are you, I, right. Okay, then maybe the pull request was updated and I missed it. Yeah, so Heath, we took that one on Wix 3, right? So oh, is this just the port to Wix 4? Do we not already pick it up then somehow? All right. Well, we should go look at that then. I thought we were up to date almost all of them. So, um, we cherry picked a bunch of stuff a while ago, but maybe it was only things that Sean, I think Sean did the work actually. So, all right. Well, we can go do that process again and make sure everything came over. In a while. All right. Okie dokie. I will double check that pull request then and go figure out where it's at. Yeah, I haven't got to any pull requests from yesterday yet. Cool. Anything else? Stuff going on out there, things people need? Wix 3.10 getting done will be, as we always say, nice and then we'll have a discussion about what 
Wix 3.11 might be, and well, it's getting a few tiny little bugs in it. Bug fixes, that is. All right, well. well potential, anyway. Potential. Well, I have confidence that Sean's going to fix his, and I took a couple bugs, so I know I'll fix those. So. That's fair. <laughs> I said I would, I will. Might take me a while, but I will. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know how to set the schedule for 3.11. You tell me. <laughs> I'll make sure I get the work done. All right. On that note, um, I think we're good. So it's about a 45, no, 15-minute meeting this week. That's good. It's about where we should be since we're not doing anything big. We're just kind of shutting down 3.10 right now, focused on that, calling it good. Um, until next week, I think we're all ready to rock and roll. Keep finding those, installing those 3.10 builds. Uh, finding the bugs if they are any, and then we'll go from there. Cool? Sounds good to me. All right. Well, we'll talk to you guys next week. Cheers. Bye.